Hello boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. My name is BioLaser. So I wanted to address some things. First thing I wanted to address is, so on the video yesterday where I said I was gonna show you guys how to tame an Anki or Dodig or a Beaver or any herbivore, the fastest way you could tame it. And I also said the whole thing, uh, how to tame the RG. A lot of you gave me hate. A lot of you told me basically like, hey man, that's not how you did it. You did it wrong and everything like that. So I'm gonna do it right now the correct way. I am on single player right now. I basically built the trap in the exact same spot where I where I originally built my um on the solo series, the extinction survival guy. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Now before I even like start doing this, I wanted to tell you guys, for those of you that are saying to give credit to the person, I did give credit. If you check out that video in the description below, it says the original video is this one. But just because a lot of people like to cry in the comments and everything. I would like to tell you that the person who, I don't know if he was the first person, but the person for where I saw the video on how to do the RG, his name is Half Dead Gaming. That's the gentleman that did the RG, and this was like done when Extinction first came out. I think he's a PC art player, but in regards to the whole herbivore thing, that one, that tip was given to me by Sleepy, which he told me that somebody from the tribe from his tribe told him how to do it so that's the thing all right all right so apparently the whole thing is that if you try to trank one of these guys out you have to right before their torpor it hits full you have to make sure that you oh okay hello little guy you have to make sure that they eat and they have that little healing buff so now when it comes to this guy he all right come on come on this way there you go his torpor is three thousand so he's a level 75. I don't know how to spawn high levels, honestly. I just, and I can't care to, so I just put the regular one. All right, so let's see. What's his torpor right now? It's going up. You see 110k, okay. So what we need to do is that, obviously I get a K, so for each shot. So what we need to do is that we need to kill this Anki. So let's go over here, we we'll use the kill command. Okay, sorry for the lag. That is my thing, boom, there you go, kill. Oh uh, no, poor Anki. Alright, so now we're gonna drag this Anki's body all the way over there. So let's go. Oh, did I drop it? Hello? What the hell? Yo, where's the Anki doing all the way over there? Alright, here we go. So we lost the Anki, so I'm just gonna use that little bird that was flying around here. Here you go, my boy. Get up. Hello? Alright, so let's put it right here. Can you eat up? Oh, these things are so annoying. Argents are so freaking annoying sometimes. Yo, my boy, like, there's something right there for you to eat. Do you want to eat it? Yes? No? Let me look at him. Storpo is still 10, I mean, a thousand, so... Can he eat it? There you go, he ate it. All right, so now it's time for us to try. We have 20 seconds to trank him, so let's do this. Bam! One, I think three should do it, 20 seconds. Two. There you go. He went to sleep and he still has the buff as you can see. All right, as you can see, his food goes all the way down to the point that if you were to put the kibble, the mutton or something like that, he will tame out instantly. Or if you're on times three or whatever, you could put out the meat and he will tame out instantly. Now. I guess they must have patched this to a certain extent because I know the original one, they used his food used to go all the way down. But you saw, his buff was still that He was sleeping and the buff was still going on. So I did nothing wrong. That's literally what it does. I don't know if they patched it or what it was, but look, this is, this is what happens. As you can see, like, his food is down. So if I were to spawn in mutton or the kibble, so let's just get some mutton in here. All right, so I just spawned in 42 mutton. We're just gonna, s oh, no, no, not that. Let's slap it down on him. Now, I believe my, this server is in times one because I only use this server for like, um, for like, for me to test out builds and stuff like that. Really, that's the only time that I use single player. And you can see, look, instantly. Boom, he just tamed out. Perfect. You could tell also by the level because it was level 75 and times one, yeah, he would have been like that. All right, so you can see, instantly tamed. That's how you could tame it. So let's try this again with another Arjun Tavas. All right, <clears throat> we're back again. We have the Arjun Monteves in the cage. This time we're gonna try a higher, 
what damage is this? Hold on. 400 damage compared to, what was it? 170 damage. Alright, so it should go down fast. So what we're going to do is that we're going to go to the first thing. We're going to kill the RG we just did. And we're going to use him as bait. Can I drag his body? Yes, I can. All right. All right well, I want to do that. So, hello? Can I drag his body? There you go. All right. Apparently, his body doesn't want to be dragged. Let's go this way. So, we're going to just put this body right there. Hello? I know you want to eat that. There you go. One. Two. He should go down. There you go. And he went down. As you can see, you can still see the glitter on him. So it is obvious that he still has the, the thing. And his food went down. As you can see, it didn't go all the way down. But his food, this guy's food is a lot lower. A lot lower than the actual last one. So it brings the food down just in i mean just enough to where like you could drop something on him and he will instant ting so we're going to try this again and this time we're going to put the mutton on him and you could check on dodo decks on times one rates because that's what i have these rates set at on this server at least i mean i just have the regular rate. or maybe actually no i think it might be set to like single player rates but look boom tamed out perfect that's it it's over see what i mean this is the way to do it. I don't know if they patched it. Kill that shit. That shit sucks. I don't know if they patched it or what it was, but that's how you tame an Arjun. Now, to tame an Anki. So let's spawn an Anki. We're going to track him, and I'm going to show you that it still works. Because some of you some of you had told me that apparently <coughs> they patched the Anki, so he's no longer Stimberry tamed. So we're going to try it right now. We're back now. We spawned in an Anki. Um, there was a few mishaps. I kept spawning. I was trying to spawn in a high one. Keep spawning like level 10s and shit so yeah all right so we got a 145 here we're gonna try and come out and we're gonna do the whole thing that i told you guys with the stem berry so now i figured out afterwards a better way to do it um and i thought about it and i was like good that's actually a really good way to do it all right is this thing gonna go down it should go down here there you go he took a lappy poo there you go so now what you're gonna do which I said in the past is that you're gonna put stem berries on him. Now, what I was thinking about, it was like the best thing you could do, honestly, would be like keep him like just stem buried. So like, let's just drop all the stem berries on him. Ooh, he's actually overweight. All right, so we're just gonna drop all the stem berries on him. As you can see, he's gonna tame out. So what I was thinking about doing is like, yo, what if like you, instead of stem berry taming him, if you really want the most amount of efficiency, why don't we just like, drop him like make sure that he keeps torpored up until the fact that he drops his food by like three thousand or something like that and once he drops his food by so much then we could just um let him wake up after that and then or if right right about when he's about to tame out like uh, like 90 something percent like 95 percent we just make sure that we take the stem berries out and we make sure that he wakes up or we should just take the stem berries out let the taming efficiency go down and then put more stem berries on him allowing him to keep going and dropping his hunger more down and then you just wake him let him wake up when he wakes up then you trank him again and then you drop whatever like well i have crops right here i have potatoes because you know vodka's a thing but you know what i mean or you could just drop the mejo berries on him or the kibble or whatever you want i mean this is honestly i would say this is a tip for like small tribes or like a tribe of small like two three four people or maybe a solo player this makes it so much easier because like you know sometimes you don't have the benefits of being able to be in your big alpha base and just have like your own courtyard where you could just drop things and tame them there and not have to stress about a dinosaur coming killing it or not have to stress about somebody coming and bullying you about it so this would be the perfect way that i think we should do it all right so we're just gonna fast pace this all right <clears throat> so as you can see i have it on times 50 right now so if i were to even move my head like i would just be doing 360s for like three seconds um so as you can see the anki keeps eating the the, the stem berries so it's not patched guys it's not patched at all you could still eat it look he's still eating the stem berries we're gonna try it with a dodic next as you can see look it, his food is going down 
I mean, it's times 50 right now I have it on, so that's why it's going so fast. I mean, you can see how fast the days are going right there at the top left. So it's day 22. We started out, I think we were on day 3 or 5? So it's been a while. Like I said, this is 3 hours in real life. If you were to tame it with measure bearers, it cuts it down by half. So it probably cuts it down to like an hour and 30 minutes or something like that. But think about it, you could tame a high level. If, and think about how good it would be on times 2. Remember, I this my server right now is on times 1. At least I think so, or maybe it's on single player settings. I don't know. But what I know is that in times two or times even on small tribes rates, this probably would be like juicy as hell. So we're just going to drop this. We're going to let this drop to like 5k food. We're going to let him wake up right now. Or actually, as a matter of fact, I'm just going to let him wake up right now. Whatever he gets out of this, I'm going to let him wake up. <clears throat> I'm going to trank him again. And then what I'm going to do after that is that I'm going to put all the potatoes that I have. So what the hell? Okay, so apparently I can't do that. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give him all these potatoes that I have and let's see how fast he tames with crops. Cause I believe crops are the same thing as measures. He just gets a better efficiency with crops. No, they get the same. Is it? No, yeah, it's the same thing crops and measure berries. So crops will probably be your best bet. Okay, he's about to wake up any second now. As soon as he wakes up, I'm gonna go back to times one and then we're gonna see how fast he goes. Let's see how much food he's gone down by. I only gave him 100 narcotics. I mean, that's not only, it's a lot. <laughs> I gave him 100 narcotics plus all the med all the stem berries he's been eating this whole time. And that's literally what his, his food has dropped to, like 4,800. Probably, it's going to probably reach to 4,500 by the time he wakes up. Who knows? But definitely, I mean, if you have kibble, you could just look at the decks how long, I mean, how much his food has to really drop until he eats all the kibble at once and then you just let him wake up you just could do this like think about the possibilities you could do honestly all right he's about to wake up right now all right we're back to normal he's about to wake up he's also about to tame out as you can see 4700 food he's at 94 percent taming but look at his efficiency he's only gonna gain three levels out of it it always seems that like that's the lowest look he wakes up so now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna trank him again. There you go, he went down, all right. So now you see he still has the food all the way down. So now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna give him the potatoes, which is called saver to. So we're gonna put S-A-V. And we're just gonna drop all the potatoes in there. Not all of them, because we have more than he could carry. And let's see how fast he tames. So he's taming efficiency right now. Look how fast it's going. Why? Because he's already starved out. And look, he might as well instant him. If this was like one of those dedicated, this would have probably been an instant him. As you can see, he's going up food. Whenever he takes a bite, how much does it go up by? A whole hundred. Okay, maybe he won't tame out. All right, let's just speed this up to like 10. All right, we're speeding this up. Let's see how much. We dropped this food all the way to 4,000, almost half. Because half will be 3,000. All right, he keeps eating. Look at that. Basically an instant tame. I mean, I do have it at times 10, but like I said, it's going to decrease your time. And boom, instant tame this little bitch. Now, he was a 145, now he's a 215, so definitely, look at this, man. Like, I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, this is the way to do it. All right, so it works with an Anki. Let's spawn in a beaver and a dode, which those are technically the taming, I mean, like the farming dinos that you're going to need. I don't know if it'll work with a therizino we could try a therizino but i think a therizino is just gonna be annoying as hell to tame but we could try it all right we have a beaver right here what level was he all right 35 i'm not gonna look for a high level i'm just gonna go trank him out come on mr beaver oh he's already running away there you go he's unconscious now all right let's see if it works for the beaver now i remember on my um on the three musketeers, I remember I did it with the beaver. It does work with the beaver. Look, he's eating them. So it does work with the beaver as well. I'm not gonna do the whole thing that I did that I just did with the Anki. You get the point. It works with the beaver. So let's try a Dodic now. Alright, we just spawn in a Dodic. Let's see. Come on, let's go, buddy. Go down, bro. There you go. Alright, so let's try to see if it works with a Dodic. Is he gonna eat it? It does work with a dodic as well. Look at that. It's eating the stem berries. Now, mind you, today's day is December 4th, 2018. 
So as of today, it still works. You can still stem berry. As you can see, it worked for the beaver. We have the beaver right here. The beaver's eating it. I think the beaver is actually the best one to do this shit on because you will know how freaking low of a torpor this beaver has. And as for the Dodic and this guy right here, and, uh, and the Anki, like these things take like three hours without kibble. And then on times one, it takes 30 dial of kibble just for one. Times two, it takes 15. So like, you definitely wanna tame these things on times two. Or if you wanna just tame this quickly so you could get up to farming and stuff like that, this will be the best way. Now, mind you, I'm telling you, if you could do it this way, like just stemberry tame them until like they drop their hunger enough where you could measure tame them and then just let them wake up and trank them again. That would be the smart thing to do if you're looking for efficiency. If you're just looking for utility, then just let him stemberry tame at that point, you know? Just just give him as much of stemberries as you can and just let them keep eating until they can. I mean, until they tame out. All right, so now for the big dog, the Therizino. Let's try that out. All right, here we go. We got the Therizino right here. It's a level 20, so it's not really a high level. So we're just going to try and come out. Per perfect. He's just going to keep attacking us right there. Oh, there you go. He's running. Don't run. Oh, I think I missed that. Yeah, I hit the freaking wall over there. Well, good shit for my bad Amy. All right, so... I know that the Therizino is one of the things that takes ages to do. It's like six hours without kibble. So let's see. Oh, if you could do the stem berry. Therizino, are you going to... Yes, he does. Look. So the stem berries do work on a Therizino. That's perfect. Yo, that will bring the time down by half. So on times one, it will bring it down by like three hours instead of six hours. Yo. Yo, that's not even a joke, bro. That's actually really good. I mean, I still think it's still a long time. If you don't have kibble for a Therizino, don't even try it because these things take forever. And at that point, you might as well tame a high level one. There's no point in you taming a low level one. Well, look at this, yo. This is awesome, bro. So it works on almost all the, all the farming dinos. It works on a Dodic. It works on a Beaver. It works on an Anki. And it works on a Therizino. That's amazing. I think the only other farming dino that I missed right here, but it's not going to work on him, is the Moss Chops. But the Moss Chops is a different type of taming. It's not a knockout taming. So there's that. All right, guys. But that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope this clears stuff out. I hope this definitely cleared it out. I know a lot of you were saying, does this method still work? I mean, somebody even said in the comments that they tried it with a Dodic or an Anki or something like that, he said, and um, it didn't work. But as you can see, as of today, December 4th, 2018, look, they're all eating. They're all freaking, um, none of them, they're all taming out. So it works on all of the dinos, farming dinos at least. And I'm sure it works on like almost every herbivore. So the Stimberry method still works. You could still basically starve them. Just with the Stimberries, their food would go down as well as they would tame with the stem berries if you truly wish them to tame out with the stem berries. If not, then you could just make sure that they wake up and then trank them out again. I would say, I don't know about the Therizino because, oh my god, I didn't know that their torpor was so. I never actually truly tamed with Therizino, so I don't really know how it is. But I've tamed Dodics and I've tamed Beavers and I've tamed Ankies, but I've never tamed Therizinos. I've always just kind of like, you know, bought them off the black market during the time, like back in Legacy when I was in, um... When I was in the tribe, but lately I don't, I don't, I could care less about their Xenos. I've stolen eggs from them, but I've never really like raised one, so I don't know. But yeah, guys, so that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. I hope that you liked the episode. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Make sure to like the video if you like this video. Make sure to hit that bell button if you are subscribed to be notified of whenever I post again. I post Monday through Saturdays, unless I don't feel like posting that Saturday because of something happened. But I will let you guys know. If you come and check on the YouTube, on my community tab, I will post something giving you guys updated if the video is going to be late or not. But yeah, until next time, guys. Bye!